Hello and welcome to another activity from PreschoolLearningOnline.com and if you don't already know my name is Marissa and I'm the operator of the website and I'm here with our most exciting experiment which is Flubber. Now Flubber can be used as a science slash sensory type experience or experiment either or. Now what I'm going to do is go step by step so you can write down the recipe um, at home and you can use this recipe anywhere if you're a caregiver teacher parent it's really fun there's one ingredient in it though which is borax and you can find that in the laundry section of your grocery store so be careful when you're using it with children make sure you're using it with children that are past the stage where they put things in their mouth because this one is not very safe to eat but like I said, this is a preschool website, so we're dealing mostly with preschool children, and so we're usually safe. Children at that age have usually stopped that. So supervision is always um, a plus with any activity. So now what I have here is three quarter cups of warm water. So that's three quarter cups of warm water. And I'm going to dye it green. And I'm gonna dye it green because that's the most popular flubber type of color. I'm going to give it a dark color because when I add the other ingredient, I think it takes away from the color. So we'll make it nice and dark. And if you haven't seen the movie Flubber, Flubber is kind of a rubbery type of fun substance. It's kind of Play-Doh-y but not really. It's actually, it's kind of a cross between goop and Play-Doh. It's non-messy so you are safe with it. All right, so we have a nice dark green. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour that into a bowl and we're going to call this our mixture one. So we have three quarter cups of warm water with green food coloring and that's in mixture bowl mixture one. And with that, we're going to add one cup of glue. But the one thing is it has to be Elmer's glue. So one cup of Elmer School glue. So we'll make sure we get all that in there. And that's your mixture one already. Okay. Now for our mixture two, we need half a cup of warm water. Okay, so I went and got the half a cup of warm water and I'm putting it into mixture bowl number two. So mixture bowl number two has one half cup of warm water and then I need two teaspoons of borax. So I will get my two tea my teaspoon here and I'll put two teaspoons in. Try and make them as level as possible. So there's one teaspoon and two teaspoons. And I just like to use a whisk and just whisk it around, try and dissolve it as much as possible. And that's it for the ingredients. So now comes the fun part. Now we take mixture one, and all you have to do is pour it into mixture two here. scrape out as much as we can. The kids love this. And the best thing about this is it's so fun to watch that they like watching it and being a part of it and they just feel like, you know, they know how it looked like before it became flubber and they just enjoy it so much more. So now that's it. Now you just reach your hand in Kind of swish it around a bit, make sure it's all in there. And you pull it out, and there is your flubber. Now what you want to do is just work it around a little bit, because there might be a couple pockets of glue. So just work it a bit and work it a bit. You may need to dip it in the mixture with the borax again, just to make sure it's all, all the glue pockets are gone. It is a little messy at first, but I promise you this is a very clean 
thing for them to play with. It's a lot cleaner than Goop and a lot cleaner than uh, Play-Doh as well. So I'm just going to give it another dip. We're getting there. We just about got our flubber. One more dip. Make sure all the glue pockets are gone. Keep mixing and mixing. And I think we have our flubber. Now I'm just going to get the camera to pause for a second and I'm going to go wash my hands. But I'm going to show you. I'm setting this flubber right to the side here. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to wash my hands. I'm just going to get the flubber to get it off. And I'm going to set the flubber down and I'm just going to wipe my hands on my cleanup cloth there. And look at that. That is your flubber. You can break it, stretch it, do everything to it. I'll show you in one sec here. Because I just want to show you that it is clean. I mean, it looks a little messy to make, but it's really fun. There, my hands are all clean. And here we have our clean flubber. I'll just come around this way a little bit to show you. So that's the flubber. You can break it apart like this. You can roll that into a little ball. And the fun thing too, it bounces. But the only thing is, if the kids bounce it, you want to make sure you're almost done with it. Because I found in my preschool class, when the kids bounce it on the floor, it does collect little hairs and dust and dirt that's on the floor. So that's not a really good idea if you want them to use it. You can store it in an airtight container as long as it'll last. I've had it last for almost a month. Other people I've given the recipe to have had it last a little less, a little longer, so it all depends. And the more you work with it, the warmer it gets and the more pliable it gets. And you can make it long, you can make it short, you can connect it back together. So that is our special recipe and I'm glad to be giving it away free. And uh, that's about it. So we hope you come to our website and check out more recipes and more activities, and we'll be sure to uh, post more on YouTube. So we'll see you again.